Hey guys, I'm here with Champ. Um, like I think he got, uh, what, you got second? Uh, yeah, I got second after Swiss and then we split the Tonka. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, so what did you play? Yeah, I played uh, Malice. It was a really cool deck. I, uh, I didn't expect I was gonna enjoy it so much, but I did. Ended up having a lot of fun in this tournament. So yeah, uh, let's jump into the deck for a while. Let's do it. So yeah, for the names, I play uh, I max out on the Dormouse. Yeah, the card is just insane. It based so many interruptions. Like, uh, the trap was really cool, I, uh, I just love the card, the card's great. Uh, if they interrupt this and you have full spell, you can still get into White Rabbit. And yeah, it's, it's a good card. So then we play Free Rabbit, this is the one that sets the Malice Trap card. So yeah, I also got a max out on this one. And then most people would not agree with this, but I only play one Chassis Cat. Because the card is, yeah, draw two. I did have it in my hand a few times, but I play a line where I can summon it out with the firewall. So if I don't get interrupted a whole lot, I can still uh, get it out of my hand and draw two cards. So yeah, then for the standard uh, red ransom targets, I play the Thought Scraper. And for the one of the best cyber extenders, I play the Solo Code. This is also the extender and uh, basically IP Mascarena on uh, your opponent's turn. So you can still make the uh, Link Tree. Uh, then I played the uh, one Mad Max Sigma. This card was amazing. I I did see this card a little too much. I, I didn't want to see it as much, but uh, I did see it. And when I saw it, it was a great card. Yeah, so I played the Cyber Whis Wicked Package. And uh, yeah, the card was just great. Uh, you can play around Nip with uh, White Rabbit as well. So yeah, this was uh, an amazing addition to the deck. Then I also played, <laughs> I played a free Parallel Exit. The card was great. I love the card. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I basically used my fuel spell a lot earlier than you normally do in the combo, so I uh, held the exceed in case I get nipped or I get interrupted, like in a spot where I don't want to get interrupted. If you just have exceed, people don't expect it, you can just use it from your hand, get two extra bodies. If you get nipped, you go into Link Spider, make this, go into Splash Mage, because you want to use the Splash Mage as late as possible. Uh, then for the hand traps, I play the free Ash Blossom, uh, free Flawless, uh, free sh Dish Shifter, uh, free Droll, free Emperor Man, one nip. It should have been two nip, but I couldn't really fit it into clean 40, so I just played the one for the cross up, and it, it was good into like drawing it. I, you don't need three, probably two. Yeah. So yeah, that's it for the hand traps. And then for the spells, you have to max out on the two spells. Uh, the card is great on the follow-up, it's good going first, it's a good extender. Yeah. I love the card, the card was great. You shouldn't play too. I When I started testing the deck, I saw this card way too much, but now I started to appreciate seeing it, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely the three. Uh, then I play free signing mining, the card is bonkers. You can discard, uh, when you see the uh, Mad Max Sigma, you can discard it, you can still summon it from the grave. Uh, you can search uh, Code of Soul, and then you can. You don't have to dump it off Terry Hurts, you can dump something else. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I decided to play uh, the Sunny Mining instead of the Allures, which I felt like was a pretty big advantage because you actually guarantee a name. Uh, then I played the One Gold Star, one Terraforming. And for the traps, I played the 7, 6, and 11. So, yeah, uh, just setting like an imprint that you're gonna pass on is always great because some people actually fall for the bluff or you actually have it they never know I mean, they do but it's too late when they do uh, yeah that's it for the main deck uh, queen 40 uh, let's go into the extra deck so yeah, i played uh, one link decoder uh, probably my favorite card in the deck it just spawns itself back gets banished if you get lancet it doesn't even get banished it's great uh, <laughs> Then I played the Disciple. Uh, most people don't play this. I play this because I played the Wicked. I can explain the line later. Or uh, uh, Then I play one Link Spider in case you get nib. Uh, the Devotee. This card was very much underwhelming. I only made it once when I got Lanciad. Otherwise, I could just like pass an IP and uh, name because I started with Dormas. So yeah, that's it for the Link once. Then I played the Haggard Lizardos. The card was great under Skill Drain. Uh, some people actually impermed it because people apparently still don't know how to interrupt this deck. <laughs> so <laughs> the card is great. I reduced uh, some big bot boss monsters to 600 or 900 by banishing the Dormouse. Yeah. Uh, then I played the uh, Splash Mage. You want to make this as late as possible, trying to play around it or like respecting other hand traps. I played the one Cyber Swicket. 
uh, the card can banish uh, the link trees. Uh, it gets you Sigma, so you get free extension. And one SP, IP, so that's for the link twos. And then for the big link mamas, I played uh, Red Ransom. <laughs> I play white, white, white binder, and I made, and I played the hard recycler. Uh, this card was good. I didn't actually get to made it a whole lot because when you get interrupted, you can't really pass on it. I mean, you can pass on this card alone, but yeah, uh, white binder and red ransom definitely the MVPs of today. Uh, then I played the uh, firewall dragon. Uh, the card is great. It allows you to end back a hand trap if you already have an extender from your hand that you can special summon. And it also allows you to like out your opponent's bodies if you don't need extenders. Uh, and then when it gets uh, when Link Monster leaves the arrow the discard points to, you can special summon a monster from your hand, which was okay. the way that I got rid of the chessy cat from my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I played the Terra Hertz and uh, Fusion to dump off it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, these two cards were great. You can beat get over big bodies. They can't really. Most people go into the battle phase when you pass on the MSP, they try to out it, but then you just get out the link freeze and they can't really respond with like their Kustira stuff. Uh, then for the side deck, my side deck was a bit weird, but yeah, I played um, Freed Cross on Designator. The card was great uh, when you draw it, which I didn't, but in passing <laughs> it was good. <laughs> <laughs> then I played the Free Book of Eclipse. The card was really good against um, Razel, but th the problem with the Eclipse is that you can get ashed on it, so it's not really a guaranteed uh, board breaker. But yeah, the card was good. I also sided into Kushtira, which I played against too. Oh uh, yeah, the card was super good. I really liked playing it over the um, Ultimate Slayer. And I played the one Talents and two Perulia. Uh, so yeah, this Talents should have been the third Perulia, but I couldn't really get my hands on the third one, so we just played Talents, which was also good. It was good, yeah. If you can fit it in your main deck somehow, I would play it. Like, Talents is great. Hand traps, hands around everywhere. Yeah. Uh, then I played free Lancia. Uh, yeah, the card was super good in the mirror. It was good against Kashira when they were going second. They felt like they could just fan and banish something, but I had Lancia, and yeah, the rest was history. <laughs> uh, then I played free D Barrier for the Rizal matchup. So, yeah, this is very self explanatory. You have to respect Rizal, you have to play free D Barrier. Of course. Yeah, so yeah, that's it for the deck profile. Um, yeah, that's it. What, have any questions? Um, what were your matchups like? Oh, so yeah, in the Swiss I played against one Kashtira, uh, which was, uh, it was cool, it was good. Uh, I played against Labyrinth, which I did lose to, because the Stovies and the uh, Kuklocks mm. were a bit too overwhelming on my turn zero, so yeah. And then I played against Memento, Malice, and uh, Mermel and Rizil in the top two, so last round of Swiss, played mm -hmm. against Kaitan. We had a great match. We'll do it again. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. great. Uh, congrats again, champ. Uh, thank you for the deck profile, and I'll see you again soon. Hopefully, yeah.